Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wishdom Pillars. Have you ever wondered how to live a fulfilling life, standing strong despite all challenges and obstacles amid the hustle and bustle of modern life, filled with pressures, finding inner peace and self-control seems impossible? However, more than two millennia ago, Stoic philosophy offered profound, powerful and inspirational teachings to help people unlock their hidden potential. Stoic philosophy is not just an ideology, but a guiding star for life, leading us through tough times with a steadfast soul and a strong heart. Philosophers like Marcus Aurelius Cena and Epictetus have passed down timeless principles that awaken latent strength and open the door to a peaceful and effective life. This video will explore 12 Stoic secrets to master yourself and live your best life. Each secret is a valuable lesson, a perfect piece to help you build a complete and meaningful life. Are you ready to accept the challenge and discover your true inner strength? Join us on this journey where each Stoic principle is not just a theory, but a guiding star leading you to the pinnacle of yourself you will find. Find that peace and strength do not lie outside, but within your mind. From there, you will not only become the best version of yourself, but also inspire those around you to live a complete life. Number one question. Your question. Your limits. Limits in Stoic philosophy. Challenging your limits is not just an action, but a profound and inspiring way of life. Marcus, or I.U.S. the philosopher emperor, with a steadfast soul once asserted, you have power over your mind, not outside events realize this, and you will find strength. His teachings shine a light on our path, encouraging us to seek inner strength and overcome the boundaries we set for ourselves. Imagine a marathon runner facing the grueling challenges of a kilometer race. They must persevere through rigorous training, endure excruciating pain and sometimes even despair. Yet, it is in these moments that they truly discover and surpass their limits in our daily lives. We also need to seek such opportunities to challenge and overcome our limits, not only in work, but also in relationships. Learning and mental fortitude. Have you ever wondered what, what is stopping you from challenging your limits? What limits have you set for yourself and how have you overcome them? Take a moment to reflect on the difficulties you are facing. It might be starting a new project, learning a new skill, or dealing with complex issues in relationships. Each challenge is a valuable opportunity for you to become stronger, wiser, and more steadfast. Epicus, another Stoic philosopher, once advised, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Facing challenges and overcoming our limits is how we react and move forward in the face of difficulties by not retreating, not accepting defeat, but bravely advancing. We truly understand and develop our potential. Remember, no limit is too great if we have strong faith and willpower. Let faith guide you and challenge yourself to discover the wonders within you. Number two. The pursuit of the pursuit of improvement. Improvement. Have you ever wondered how to make each day better than the last? In Stoic philosophy, the pursuit of improvement is not a destination, but an unending journey. It is the continue AUS process of surpassing oneself, of seeking perfection in every smallest moment. The pursuit of improvement starts from within, from changing our mindset and attitude towards life. Look at the life of Thomas Edison. Despite failing thousands of times before inventing the electric light bulb, he never gave up on improving himself and his work. His persistence and determination changed the world forever in daily life. Pursuing improvement can be learning a new skill, improving health, or even cultivating patience and empathy. These small but consistent steps will accumulate into significant and positive changes, as the Stoics advise. Embrace each day as an opportunity to improve yourself. 
Remember, improvement never ends, and every day is an opportunity to become better. Let every moment in life be a step forward an improvement and an achievement. What can you do today to start your journey of self-improvement? Start now, because every small step is valuable and contributes to your growth. Have you ever wondered what happens when you, you pour your heart and soul into everything you do in Stoic philosophy? Pouring your heart and soul into your efforts is a core principle. It not only reflects dedication and perseverance, but also shows respect for yourself and your pursuits. When we fully commit to something, we not only achieve the best possible results, but also find deep meaning in every... Pour your heart into your endeavours. Action number number three. Pour your heart into your endeavours. Think of Jesus who dedicated his entire life to spreading love and forgiveness. He poured his heart and soul into every sermon, every miracle, every act of helping others, this dedication inspired and changed the lives of millions. Ask yourself, have I poured my heart and soul into my efforts today? What can I do to be more dedicated in everything I do? These questions not only help us self-reflect, but also serve as reminders to live each day with passion and determination. Marcus Elias also advised us to always give our best, never wasting a single moment. Look at the lives of successful people from entrepreneurs and artists to scientists. Steve Jobs, the, the co-founder of Apple, once said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work, and the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Jobs poured his heart and soul into his work, creating revolutionary products that changed how we live and work in everyday life. Pouring your heart and soul into your efforts can mean working hard, loving your family, or simply living passionately these efforts when done. Wholeheartedly bring deep joy and satisfaction. Remember life is a series of actions and choices. When we pour our heart and soul into each action, we not only achieve success, but also find the true meaning of life. Join the conversation in our comments section. So what will you pour your heart and soul into? Today, we look forward to hearing your stories start now, because every effort is valuable and contributes to your growth. In exploring the profound wisdom of Stoicism, I am particularly impressed by the famous quote from the philosopher Seneca, If a man knows not to which point port he sails, no wind is favourable. This quote leads us to a core practice of Stoicism, which is also the fourth key to becoming exceptionally intelligent. Number four, stay on your, stay on your path path. Jesus also taught, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. These words are not just religious advice, but also a reminder to remain steadfast in our values and goals, even when the path is fraught with difficulties. Ask yourself, what have I done to stay true to my path? What might lead me astray, and how can I avoid that? Consider the life of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi steadfastly pursued the path of non-violent resistance to achieve independence for India, despite facing relentless oppression and challenges his determination not only helped India gain independence, but also inspired peace movements worldwide. He once said, My path is one of commitment to truth and no violence. I cannot act otherwise, reflect on yourself, and ask what is most important to me. What have I done to maintain those values in my daily life, staying true to your path, requires focus and determination, undeterred by challenges or temptations around you. This could mean maintaining a healthy habit, upholding a principle, or pursuing a long-term goal as the Stoics advise. Remember that the right path is not always the easy one. Sometimes it is filled with thorns and challenges, but these challenges will make us stronger and more determined. 
Let each step on your path be a testament to your steadfastness and courage. What can you do today to stay true to your path? Start now, because every step is valuable and contributes to your growth. Number five, letting go of, letting go of outcomes. Outcomes, letting go of the outcome does not mean not caring about your work. Rather, it means accepting that there are factors beyond our control. And what matters most is our effort and attitude. Jesus also taught us about letting go of the outcome when he said, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. These words remind us that living fully in the present and doing our best work is what truly matters. Ask yourself, am I too focused on the outcome instead of the process? How can I let go of worries about the future and focus on the present? Consider the life of Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, before becoming a global icon. Jordan faced many failures and challenges, including being cut from his high school basketball team instead of being defeated by these setbacks. Jordan focused on improving his skills. He once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games, 26 times. I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed, focusing on the process and letting go of expectations about the outcome helped Jordan become one of the most successful athletes in history. Imagine how much lighter your life would. Feel if you could let go of worries about the outcome you could focus on. What you are doing, enjoy the process of learning and growing. This not only helps you achieve better results, but also brings peace of mind when you work with all your heart and are not bound by expectations about the outcome you will feel. Freer and more creative in daily life, Try applying the principle of letting go of the outcome by focusing on effort and process. When you work hard and are dedicated results will naturally follow, and even if they don't meet your expectations, you will still feel satisfied because you did your best remember. True value lies in our effort and attitude, not in the final result. Number six, you attract what you... You attract what you embody. Embody. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to attract good things in life in STO philosophy? There is a core principle you attract what you exude. This means our attitudes, actions and thoughts generate an energy that attracts similar things from the world around us. Positive thinking and righteous actions will attract positive opportunities and relationships. Consider the life of Oprah Winfrey Coming from a poor background and facing numerous challenges, O Oprah always maintained a positive spirit and kindness. She used her own experiences to inspire and help others. As a result, she has become not only one of the most powerful women in the world, but also a symbol of success and compassion. Oprah once said, The biggest lesson I learned was to be the best that I could be, and that got me the best opportunities. Think about what you want to attract into your life. Do you want positive relationships, growth opportunities, or peace of mind? Start with how you present yourself. Treat others well. Maintain an optimistic spirit and always be ready to help when you can. This way, you create a cycle of good things returning to you. Try applying this principle today. Smile at strangers. Help those in need and keep a positive mindset in every situation. You'll find that your life will change for the better. You attract what you exude, and what you exude will shape the world around you. So what do you want to attract? Start with yourself. We want to extend our gratitude and congratulations to you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully ready for this journey. Now let's shift your focus to the remaining six secrets on how to pause overthinking in the process of practicing gratitude. Daily self-improvement. Number seven, practicing gratitude daily 
When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Marcus Aelius, have you ever paused and wondered if you truly appreciate what you have in life in Stoic philosophy? Gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion, but a daily practice that helps us live more fully and meaningfully. Practicing gratitude every day allows us to recognize and cherish the small, yet important things in life. Jesus also taught us about gratitude at the Last Supper. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. This act was not just a simple gesture, but a symbol of deep gratitude and appreciation. Ask yourself, what am I grateful for in my life today? Do I take time to truly feel and appreciate the good things around me? Imagine starting each day by spending a few minutes thinking about what you are grateful for. It could be your health, your family, your job, or even a delicious meal. When we appreciate what we have, we feel more content and peaceful because we focus on what is within our control practicing gratitude daily, not only improves our mood and mental health, but also has a positive impact on those around us. When you spread gratitude, you will find that life becomes more meaningful and fulfilling. Begin today by taking time each morning or evening to write down three things you are grateful for. This not only helps you recognize the blessings in your life, but also encourages you to live more positively and happily. What can you do today to practice gratitude? Start with the small things and make gratitude an essential part of your daily life. Let every moment be an opportunity to give thanks and appreciation, as gratitude will bring you deep joy and small steps, big impact, peace. Number eight, small steps, big impact. Have you ever wondered how small changes can lead to, to significant achievements in Stoic philosophy? The principle of small steps, big impact, is a crucial secret. Small changes accumulated over time can bring about great and lasting results. A happy life is made up of small actions. Strive to perform each small action as if it were your whole life. Jesus also taught us that the must seed, though the smallest of all seeds when it grows, it becomes the largest of garden plants. This reminds us that every action, no matter how small, can lead to great changes if we persist and are dedicated. Ask yourself, where can I start? What small changes can I make today to improve my life? Take the example of Sir David Attenor, the renowned natural IST and documentary filmmaker Attenborough began his career with small nature documentaries. Each film, though small, contributed to raising public awareness about the environment and nature conservation. His small steps have had a huge impact, not only in protecting the planet, but also in inspiring millions of people worldwide in our daily lives. We can apply this principle by making small changes and sticking with them. For example, if you want to improve your health, start by walking for 10 minutes a day. Gradually, you can increase the time and intensity of your exercise. If you want to learn a new skill, dedicate 15 minutes a day to study and practice these small steps when maintained consistently will accumulate and leave lead to significant improvements. We have just explored the power of small steps and their significant impact, one of the key drivers of success and self-improvement. Now we want to introduce you to an equally powerful tool for personal growth. Redefining success. Success is not measured by wealth or fame, but by personal fulfillment and inner peace. Let's continue to discover the miraculous power of redefining success in the next part of the video. Number nine, redefining, redefining success. Success. Jesus also taught for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul. This saying reminds us that true success lies not in achieving material accomplishments, but in living a life of virtue filled with love, love and justice. Ask yourself, does my success truly bring happiness and inner peace?
Am I sacrificing my core values to achieve outward goals? Consider the life of Viktor Frankl, a psychologist and author of the famous book Man's Search for Meaning, during his harrowing years in Nazi concentration camps, Frankl realized that even in the most extreme conditions, people could find, find meaning and success. Through endurance and steadfastness, he wrote, Success, like happiness, cannot be pursued. It must ensue, and it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's dedication to a cause greater than oneself or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. In our daily lives, we are often obsessed with society's standards of success, such as status money and fame. Redefining success means finding joy and satisfaction in simple things, in genuine relationships, and in living true to our values. Imagine if you redefine success not by what you achieve, but by how you live each day with gratitude and love. How would your life change? You would find peace of mind free from the pressure of external expectations. Remember, true success is living a meaningful life with gratitude and steadfastness in your core. Reject the need for approval. Values number 10. Reject the need for approval. A prime example of rejecting the need for approval is the life of Elon Musk before becoming one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. Musk faced a lot of skepticism and criticism. He was considered crazy for investing in SpaceX and Tesla, two companies many believed would fail. However, Musk did not let others' doubts affect his decisions instead of seeking approval. He focused on his vision and goals, resulting in groundbreaking changes in the space and electric vehicle. Industries think about the times you've changed your behaviour or decisions just to please others. This could be in your work family or social relationships. Rejecting the need for approval helps us focus on what truly matters and live a life true to ourselves. Jesus also taught do not worry about what others think of you, but live true to your conscience. This is not just religious advice, but a reminder that our true value does not depend on others' approval, but on how we live according to our principles and values. Ask yourself, am I living in a way I believe is right, or am I just trying to please others in daily life? Try applying the principle of rejecting the need for approval by asking yourself, is this important to me? Am I living according to my values? When you focus on these, you'll feel freer and less bound by other opinions. Let each day be an opportunity to live true to yourself, unaffected by others, approval or judgment. What can you do today to start rejecting the need for approval and focus on what truly matters to you. Start now, because every moment is an opportunity to live authentically and meaningfully. Number 11. Mastering the art. Mastering the art of saying no, of saying no. Have you ever found it difficult to decline a request, even when you knew it wasn't right for you? In Stoic philosophy, mastering the art of saying no is a crucial principle that helps us live true to our values and goals. Declining things that don't align with our priorities not only protects our time and energy, but also keeps us focused on what truly matters. Jesus also taught, let your yes be yes and your no, no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. This reminds us of the importance of clarity and decisiveness in communication. Ask yourself, how many times have I said yes, just to avoid disappointing others? What would happen if I learned to say no firmly and kindly in daily life? Saying no can help us focus on our main priorities and avoid unnecessary distractions. A prime example is Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time. Buffett once said, the difference between successful people and successful people is that successful people say no to almost everything. This demonstrates that mastering the art of saying no can be key to achieving success and happiness. 
Think about the times you agreed to do something just because you were afraid to refuse this can lead to feeling overwhelmed and not having enough time for what truly matters. Declining. Unknown necessary requests helps you protect your precious time and dedicate it to your larger goals. Start applying this principle in your daily life when someone asks you to do something. Ask yourself, does this align with my goals and values? If the answer is no, have the courage to say no. Remember, saying no is not selfish. It is a legitimate way to protect yourself and what you value. You can start today and let each refusal be a small step towards mastering your letting go with indifference life. Number 12. Letting go with indifference. Letting go with indifference does not mean being insensitive or cold, but rather accepting what cannot be controlled and not letting it affect our mind and spirit. Jesus also taught us about letting go when he said, whoever finds their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. These words remind us that sometimes holding on tightly and obsessing over what we have can cause suffering. Instead, we should learn to let go and trust in better things. A prime example of letting go with indifference is Mahatma Gandhi. When fighting for India's independence, Gandhi rejected violence and did not let the events around him affect his spirit. He once said, happiness is when what you think, what you say and what you do are in harmony. Gandhi learned to let go of hatred and resentment and instead focused on love and compassion. Think about the times you've been caught up in worry, stress and sadness over things you can't control. Letting go with indifference helps us maintain our peace of mind and not get swept up in negative emotions in daily life. We can practice letting go of indifference by accepting that there are things beyond our control. This could be in work when you have done your best, but the outcome is not as expected in relation relationships when others do not reciprocate your feelings or in health. When you face illness, letting go with indifference does not mean giving up on everything, but rather focusing on what we can do and accepting what we cannot change. This brings tranquility and freedom to our souls. What can you do today to practice letting go with indifference? Start now, because every, every moment is an opportunity for us to live more fully and meaningfully. The secrets of Stoic philosophy are not just dry principles, conclusion, but guiding lights that help us live a fulfilling and meaningful life. Each secret carries a profound message about steadfastness, courage, and inner freedom. These philosophies not only help us achieve success, but also help us find peace of mind, mind, living a life full of inspiration and meaning on this journey. Remember that perfection is not the goal, but continuous improvement is focus on the process. Let go of worries about the outcome and live each moment to the fullest. Let the secrets of Stoicism be your compass, guiding you not only to do your best, but also to live a life full of meaning and value. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to support the channel, leave a comment with your thoughts, and share the video with friends and family to spread the positive values of Stoic philosophy together. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos on Stoic living and personal development.